sing out a love song to Jesus in moments like these I sing out a song I sing out a song to him singing I love you Lord singing I love you This evening, oh Lord God, for giving us life, health, and strength, Lord. For keeping us, oh Father, Lord God, and giving us the ability, oh Father God, to, to gather here once again, oh Father God, in the house of the Lord, oh God. Lord God, we don't take these opportunities for granted, oh Lord. Lord God, but we come, oh Father God, Lord God, because we just love to be in your presence, oh God. Lord God, there's no better place to be, Lord God, than in the house of the Lord. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, for all of the good things, oh Father God, that you've just bestowed upon us, oh Lord God. All of the things, Lord God, that, Lord, that you're doing, oh Father God, in this hour. What a great and wonderful hour, Lord God, to be living in. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for your amazing grace, Lord, and your divine election, oh God. Lord God, for choosing just an unworthy person like me, oh Lord God. Lord, to be standing here, oh Father God, amongst these people, oh Father God, the bride of Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, I don't take these things for granted, oh God. Lord God, and Lord God, we just ask you, Father God, as we come together, Lord God, and Lord, the fellowship, oh, Father God, around the Holy Word, oh, Father God. And, Lord God, may we eat, oh, Father God, from the bounty, oh, Father God, that will store it, oh, Father God, just for us, Lord. Oh, God, I just feel your presence, oh, God, even right now, Lord God. My heart just burns, oh, Father God, in appreciation and adoration unto you, Lord God. Lord, we see so many, oh, Father God, that are lost and confused, oh, Father God. And, Lord God, we just thank you, oh, Father God, this evening, oh, God. Thank you, Lord God, for this weekend, oh, Lord God, and how you stirred my soul, oh, Father God, by the preaching of the gospel, oh, Father God. Lord, I'd never be the same again, oh, Lord. Lord, I pray, Father God, for those who may not have arrived yet, oh, Father Give them traveling mercy, oh, Father God, along those highways, Lord. Lord God, we just bind the hand of the enemy that may want to cause problems, Lord God, and uh, deter, oh, Father God. Oh, God, may you make the way plain, oh, Father God. And the angels of God encamp around them, oh, Father God, and those who may be battling within themselves, oh, Father. 
Lord God, we just come, oh Father God, reporting for duty, oh Lord God. Feed us, oh Father God, in Jesus' precious name. Lord God, at this time we pray, oh Father God, for our pastor as he's away, Lord God. Lord God, may you be with him, oh Father God. Speak to him in the quietness, oh Father God, of his room, Lord. As he's there, support to a sister church, Lord God, and the, the uh, celebration of life for a patriot there, Brother John. La Fontaine, oh God, strengthen their family, oh God. Give them what it takes to get through this trying time, oh God. Be with them. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Church, say amen. 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 We're going to, uh, let's uh, turn in our Bibles uh, to Joshua. We'll read a quick from the first chapter and then I'll let you have your seats. And uh, we'll go from there. Amen. Joshua, the first chapter. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all this, this people unto the land which I do give thee, even to the children of Israel. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> being a kind of Bible, Bible study, it's sort of a less informal uh, sort of gathering. Uh, just want to take our time and just Take a look at some of these things. I believe that the Lord is uh, uh, kind of have this inspired because even before the meetings, I was kind of just looking at a certain uh, subject on the message that the prophet speak, spoke on respect. And uh, uh, I didn't even realize it, but the, the video had came out just today. The, the YouTube, and when Brother Joe got up here, he sort of just kind of fell right into that and talking about how uh, in Second Kings there how the 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 the, the woman they were they were coming to take her sons um, and and make them slaves, but because she had a certain level of respect, Amen, and showed a certain level of respect for the gospel, Amen. Her sons were saved, Amen, and then Brother McGarry sort of just hit it on Sunday night. And I say, well, Lord, I'll tell you something else. And uh, my brother William and I was back there. And I say, man, I was just studying into that, studying into that. And I started sharing with him some of the things that God had, had showed me. And no more, I, I got the words out of my mouth. Jack was up here and he was kind of giving that monitor on the on, on the screen. I mean, he started saying something, the same thing. He said, see, you're gonna learn uh, to be talking around these preachers. <laughs> They'll pick up your thoughts, start preaching your message. So, uh, but I, I just believe, you know, I was talking about it, and we were fellowshipping around it. And I uh, said, so brother uh, Danny was saying, I said, yeah, because we all fish in the same pond. Amen. It's the same Holy Ghost. Amen. So, looking at this, I, I, I don't, you know, if I had to title it, I, 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 I would say, I would say to the church this evening. Uh, uh, it's checking up time. Checking up time. Uh, we're living, we're living in a great hour. We understand, and we understand that uh, 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 we have to be in place to do our part. God has called us, Amen. Uh, to 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 be more than just uh, how should I say, more than just uh, to come and sit and observe. Amen. You are a, an intricate part of what God is doing in this hour. Amen. Your, 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 what you're doing is just as important, amen, as anybody else. Uh, uh, just as important because, see, the gospel, amen, it, 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 it comes to, and we'll look at this, amen, in, in, in scripture here. Let's just take 
let me go back and say what I was saying. The gospel is just as important all the way down through, amen, the, the tree. All the way down through the vessel. It'll start in a prophet, but, the, but, it, but it moves on through the body. And it's just as important as it was in the prophet, as it was, as, as it, as it was, as it is in the ministry, as it is in the lay members. It's the same word and it's the same responsibility. Amen. And it's the same Holy Ghost. Amen. So uh, looking here, we read Joshua. We see where uh, the Joshua, the death of Moses, and uh, uh, it was Joshua's job to, 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 to carry it on. Moses, we had spoke about a few weeks ago that uh, the grace and then on that journey, uh, uh, Coming out of Egypt and redemption is a two-part coming out of and going into. But we have to recognize that Moses, the prophet, brought them out. But it was Joshua that took them in. So in, in that day, uh, uh, Moses being the prophet, amen, had a uh, certain level of uh, respect. Amen, had a certain level of uh, uh, what the people looked to Moses. But they, at, at, at that point, they had to be able to recognize that the, God was no longer using Moses, but that same level of respect had to go to Joshua. That's right. That's Amen. And even further, we'll, we'll read on down here. Let's look at this, taking it from Joshua, the second chapter. Amen. Remember, it's checking up time. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of, uh, of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went out and came into the harlot's house named Rahab to lodge there. And it was told to the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, uh, there came men in hither to, uh, tonight, of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house, and they be come to search all the country. And the woman took the two men and hid them, and said thus, There came men unto me, but I uh, wist not whence uh, they were. And, uh, and it came to pass about the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark, that the men went out, whither uh, the men went out, what not, pursued after them quickly, for ye shall overtake them. Amen. But she had brought them to the roof of the house and hid them, with the, with the stalks of the flax, which she had laid in order upon her roof. And the men pursued after them by the way of Jordan unto the fords. And as soon as, the, as soon as they which pursued after them were gone, she shut the gate. And before they were laid down, she came up to, upon the roof, and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land that you that I, I know. She said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land and that your terror is falling upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt and uh, uh, I came out of Egypt and what ye did to the kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan uh, Sihon and Og whom ye utterly utterly destroyed now as soon as they had heard these things their hearts did melt Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. The Lord God, the Lord your God, he is God in heaven 
above and in earth. She says, now therefore I pray you swear unto me by the Lord since I showed you kindness and ye will also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token and that ye will save alive my father, my mother, my brother, my sister and all that have and deliver our lives from death. Now I want you to notice that this harlot, this Gentile, amen, she had a certain level of respect. She recognized, amen, that God was with these people. She had heard about the things that was going on that they had done, and, and, and not only her, but all of the land. But, 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 but she had a certain level of respect for the gospel, even though it wasn't to her. There are several different places throughout scripture that we can see this same example, amen, that, 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 that because of a certain level of respect that they've had. Now, let me say, they, she, she, she didn't have this level of respect. For Moses, she had it, but that wasn't to Moses. She wasn't talking to Moses. Amen. Joshua was not there. She wasn't talking to Joshua. She was talking to two unknown men. But she had respect for the message of that hour. She had a certain level of respect. Not for that message and those men, amen, that came out to spy out the land. Now she could have, she, 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 she had choices. She could have said, who do you think you are and all of these sorts of things. But because of her kindness and the level of respect that she had shown, amen. God saved her. Her respect to these men and to the message was recognized, amen, all the way by, uh, uh, through the ranks of God, himself honored the messengers because she honored the messengers. Amen. And the woman, yet the people the message came to entreat their local ministers that are trying to tell them about even a greater message of deliverance. For us and our families in this day. And will treat them with such disrespect. Like they are almost entrusting the people of the earth. And then wonder why there is no token applied to their families. Amen. I was, I was talking about that uh, on, on, on the palmer worm. That four stage insect. And, and, and talking about I was I mentioned be careful. Very careful how you how you handle, amen, the message, the word, and its ministers, and its anointed. Careful how you handle one another. Careful how you speak about one another. There is a certain level of respect. You are the bride of Jesus Christ. You don't talk to the bride of Jesus Christ any old kind of way. There was, uh, in this message respect, the prophet was bringing out how there was a certain level of disrespect. Uh, Elijah had gone on and, and, the, and, the, and the mantle was passed down to Elisha. And, and, and no doubt he was talking about how uh, the, 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 they were at the house. It was a certain family or whatever that may have been at the dinner table and having conversation. And their conversation was about this old prophet. Who do he think he is? Saying all kind of manner of things against the message and the messenger. Now, the children overhearing this conversation, overhearing these adults badmouth and say all sorts of things about, amen, what God is doing, 
about the message, about the messenger. And so kids being kids, amen, they learn, have a learned behavior just by osmosis. Amen. They are sponges and they just kind of soak up the energy and soak up the conversation that they overhear the adults speaking. Amen. And then they, they kind of take on that spirit. Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, the 24th and 25th verse. He says, no, make, make no friendship with an angry man and with a furious man, for thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to your soul. 1 Corinthians 15, 33 say, be not deceived, evil communications corrupts good manners. Amen. Evil communication corrupts good manners. And we see that uh, uh, in this situation here uh, where they were, these children, so they, they happen to see this prophet and they began to tease this prophet because they just kind of picked up from what their parents, what they had heard. They had no idea. They, they were children. They didn't know any better. They was just repeating what they had heard and had picked up the spirit through the communication of the adults that were supposed to be leading them and around them. And they began to taunt and tease the prophet. And it cost them their lives. So we see on one hand where one uh, harlot Rahab, she, had, she, she recognized and had a certain level of respect for these ministers and her house was saved. And on the other hand, because the level of disrespect, their children was lost. We're talking about is checking up time. Watch how we handle one another. Watch how our approach to the gospel. Because see, uh, I believe what the Lord is trying to get to us is that this is not a man in this hour. This is the works of the Holy Spirit. It's the works of the Holy Spirit. And there has to be a certain level of respect. The prophet was talking about uh, another message. I can't call it right now, but he said that uh, uh, I've been all over the world. I spoke to kings and judges and different things. Now, you don't walk uh, into the courtroom and say, hey, yo, honor dude, what's up? No, you have to address him with a certain level of respect if you expect to get anything. Yes, your honor, may I approach, may I approach the bench? Your honor, sir, you have to approach him with a certain level of respect. He said he was talking about when the kings, you don't, you don't go into a kingdom, amen, and talk to the king, queen, prince, any kind of way. There's a certain level, there's a certain way that you have to approach Amen. That same thing applies in this hour. Okay, if, 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 if we're going to get anything from God, it's a certain level, it's a certain way of approach to the gospel, it's a certain way of approach, amen, uh, to the ministry, a certain level of, uh, of approach that we have to one another. Amen. Now we move on. Her, uh, uh, we see here in Joshua the sixth chapter <coughs> and the fifteenth verse reads, "And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day, and to pass about the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed about the city seven times, and it came to pass." And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew the trumpets, Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given the, you the city. The 17th verse, And the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are therein. To the Lord only Rahab the harlot shall live. 
she and all that are with her in the house because she hid the messengers that were sent. 21st, and they utterly destroyed all, uh, all that, that was in the city, both man, woman, young and old, ox, sheep, ass, and edge of the, with the edge of the sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, go into the harlot's house and bring out thence the woman and all that she hath as ye swear unto her. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brethren and all she had. And they brought all of her kindred, my God, and left them with, without the camp of Israel, of, of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire and all was therein, only the silver and gold and the vessels of brass and iron they put into a treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive in her father's household and all that she had. And she dwelt in Israel even unto this day because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. Amen. Now Joshua, we see by the leadership, amen, of the Holy Spirit led uh, the people into their inheritance of what God had promised them through the ministry of Moses. Theirs was a natural inheritance. Ours is a spiritual inheritance even greater than the natural one. The same thing is going on today. The prophet was talking about how, how Joshua parallels Ephesians. Joshua parallels Ephesians and Ephesians parallels Lady of Seal. The same thing is going on today. Amen. We're, we're, we're going over uh, uh, into, a, in, 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 into an inheritance, amen, to claim, amen, what is rightfully ours. Now, I, I, I want to take a side and just say, now we notice that they had to fight. We had a wonderful weekend. People gain ground. We all gain ground. I know I am sitting in heavenly places this morning. Amen. Still, thank you, my brother. Still uh, 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 flowed from the weekend and the things that uh, uh, were said and how God really just blessed us. We've gained new ground. But you have to fight to keep it. You have to fight to keep it because the devil wants to come and get that ground back. He wants to come and make you uh, 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 regress from what you have gained. No, we have to fight and move forward. Move forward. Amen. God has so much more for us. It's been said that we are living so far beneath our means. Why? Three things we have to understand. We have to recognize who he is, who we are, and what time we're living in. If we can recognize those things, it would give us the courage, amen, to move forward. We already have the victory. It's already ours. We just have to claim it. We're talking about manifestations and different things of that nature. But your prophet was saying in one area that was Talking to the prophet, say, well, why are you always uh, 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 only women about their short hair and, 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 and the makeup and the way they dress and, and all of these things? He says, how can I preach the ABCs if they don't algebra when they can't learn the ABCs? Same thing here. Man, we may not be, we, we, we're beyond some of those things and we know how to carry ourselves, we know how to dress. I, 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 I had to take some antibiotics and my wife was sharing she said uh, you, you can't take those antibiotics like that just you can't take them when you want to you have to follow the directions if it says take them every six hours you have to take it 
every six hours because that's how the medication was designed. It wants to keep the, the, the right amount of antibodies in your system at the highest level for a certain amount of time. Amen. So we, we come, amen, and we take uh, the antibiotics. We, 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 we can't, if you, if you get off a little, off the prescription, off of the direction, what happens? You, 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 you weaken uh, uh, the amount of, 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 of medication in your system. What am I saying? I know a lot of times we get busy. I'll put it this way. A minister said this right here once, and I thought it was very, very good. He said, you come to church on Sunday because you love the church. You come on Sunday night because you love the pastor. You come on Wednesday night because you love the Lord. Okay. It is important. I was sharing with a fellow just this weekend, and... Uh, he was said, man, y'all go to church too much. I said, well, brother, what is too much to you? You know, too much to you because you don't have an understanding. I, I, I said to him, I said, you know, God meets all his appointments. And if I was going to the doctor and I had an ailment, and I go to the doctor, and the doctor said, well, I want you to go home and do this, 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 and then come back at this time. I'm going to get you another appointment, and we'll do something else. i got to check you out and see how that's working. And you miss the appointment. Well, there's nothing he can do. How can he check? It's checking up time. How can he check you up when you miss the appointment? The house of God, amen, is a house of correction, is a house of prayer. This is the check. This is the clinic. Pastor just preached not too long ago. He says every time you come, if you, had, if you went to the, to the hospital, you, 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 you come in and you want to go out fixed. The prophet was talking about the young lady. I said the young lady. She was an old lady called the colored woman that got hit by the car. And she said, uh, uh, do you need us to call? He said, no, no, the Lord is son. I need fixing. I need fixing. Amen. And we need to recognize in the spiritual sense that we need fixing. We need fixing. Praise the Lord. We can't, we, 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 we have the appointments. It's, it's, it's vitally important that God keeps all this important. It's important that we keep ours. Now, now you say, well, were you just trying to everybody come to church? Yeah, I'm trying to come to, ch come to church. It's just for your own good. You, it's, in this hour, it's not about willpower. That, see, that's where a lot of people go, well, willpower to, 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 to live a certain way and to, to carry themselves a certain way. Uh, you just got to have a certain amount of willpower. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This is the word that's doing the changing. It's the word of God that's building cell on top of cell. Amen. Giving you what you need to sustain in these last and evil days. Amen. It's the, the, the antibiotics that are that's staying at a high level in your system. You miss a couple of doses of antibiotics. Amen. The medicine in your system is getting low and you're susceptible, amen, to catching or the, the thing that they're trying to fight coming back. It's a demon. So you have to keep the antibiotic prescription up to a certain level of strength. And you can't do that by not feeding on the word of God, which is the antibiotic. You say, well, I can stay home and I can stream. <laughs> That's not the same as being in the atmosphere. The doctor can call you in too and tell you, well, how you doing? And actually, how you doing? No, he got to actually, he got to press here and draw blood and do all of these sorts of things. See, the word of God is a discerner of the, is a discerner, amen, is sharper than a two-edged sword. 
You got to come in. That's showing a certain level of respect. That's showing that you are convinced. My God. That you are convinced that help is at the house of the Lord. You find yourself, um, um, we stay at home and, 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 and say, well, I'm just going to listen to the tapes. And I'm just going to do these sorts of things. Amen. You're getting weak. You don't realize it. I don't, I, if I miss my antibiotic, I don't, feel, I don't feel any different. I feel just the same. But on the inside, the level of medication has decreased. You can stay home and you can read your Bible. I, I promise you that if you miss service, you stay at home for six months and just say, I read my Bible, it's the same word. But I promise you, you'll see a change in your life. You'll see a change in your life. And I tell you once for you miss one service, it's easy to miss two. You miss two, it's easy to miss four. Watch the devil. Watch the devil. Pray for one another. We're we, we, we all in the battle. We're all in the battle. And we're all in it together. Amen. You see one that says, that, no, even if you don't call, just Lord Jesus. I, 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 I haven't seen such and such in a while. Lord, I, I, I send a tow package, Lord. Lord, God, whatever it is that may be hindering them, oh, Father God, I pray, Lord, that, they, that they're safe for the safety and for the, I encourage them, oh, Lord God, because we know how important it is. Church is going home time. Must be a certain level of respect, a certain level of understanding of what's going on in this hour. Amen. Let me move on here. Matthew, the 10th chapter, he says, He that receiveth the prophet... In the name of a prophet receives a prophet's reward. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man receives a righteous man award. Reward. See? It's not only to the prophet, but it's he's here talking here, the fivefold ministry. Don't take these things for granted of, 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 of what God has, 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 has given. Amen. What? To get us ready for a rapture. Amen. Lord, thank you, Jesus. So they say, uh, they believed to a point of coming out, but couldn't believe beyond the stage that God, the prophet believing in Joshua, the leadership of the Holy Spirit, the least of the ones who carried the message of the hour. I'm going to read that again. They believed to the point of coming out. They had faith to come out. But they couldn't believe beyond the stage of God sent a prophet to believing in Joshua and the leadership of the Holy Spirit. We believe that God sent a prophet. But what happens is a problem a lot of times. We, 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 we believe God sent a prophet, but, but, but when it comes to the Holy Ghost leading Joshua, there they had a problem. Well, I see it in Brother Branham, but do I see it in the fivefold ministry? Do I have that same level of respect, amen, for, 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 for uh, 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 the message that's, as I have for my pastor, amen, or for the fivefold ministry that's coming through? It's the Holy Ghost. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the Holy Ghost, Amen. He sent, he, the Holy Ghost is here, the same work, uh, amen, that, that was in the prophet, amen, is, is, is passed through the bride. Amen, and he said it order a fivefold ministry for what? The perfecting of the saints. I used the analogy once that, uh, that, 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 that the, this perfecting of the saints, the prophet has came and, 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 and he's given us the material Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the material to work when they gave us a basic outline, amen, of the bride. But now it's the job of the fivefold ministry to do the little fine tuning. So that it come into the full likeness, amen, of the bride. 
The prophet laid everything and put everything in the storehouse. He gave us the tools to work with. He gave us the hammer, the chisel. He gave us the fine carving and materials and things to, 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 to do the fine tuning on this masterpiece. Amen. Amen. So the, that, that, that fivefold ministry is carrying out, amen, the same order, amen, that the prophet was carrying out. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now it's the responsibility of Joshua. Then Joshua, being the type of the Holy Ghost, sent two spies to save this Gentile harlot woman. The type of the fivefold ministry. Amen. Amen. I got to move on. See, my time is getting away. So we see. Uh, In the uh, message, the India report, the prophet said, uh, but I got better hopes of you brethren here this morning, that you be men of God who stay with the word and let everything else fall to the left, but stay right with that word. He says, don't move. No matter if... Uh, you're a doormat out there. Be a good doormat. Don't try to compete with someone else or do this. Just get right in the word and stay right there. And God will positionally place you into his kingdom where you can be the best. Now this is why. You want to serve the Lord in your local church where God has placed you. That is a very powerful thing. Don't ever let the devil move you out of your position of service. Don't ever let the devil move you out of your position of service. Because the position is an important part of the purpose of God in this hour, no matter how small it seems. Very important. Church is a place that in, at individuals can, uh, we can serve one another as a body of believers. It is not just coming to this building. It is also then, as the body of believers, we then serve other parts of the body of Christ in other places. And this is why the devil wants to destroy this church, because we are making a difference by our service to the body of Christ in our community. Amen. Because we're making a difference. Now, 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 see, we're the only Bible that some people will ever read. The only Bible that some people would ever read. Amen. So you have just as much of a responsibility, amen, to share the word and to be, amen, uh, uh, a missionary in your community as, as the pastor does, as the fivefold ministry. Amen. Just like he was saying that, that the word comes down it comes, starts at the prophet amen through the holy ghost through a yielded vessel amen to uh, uh, uh through the fivefold ministry to the laity to the community see it's all a vessel in every point to and who that receive you not so much. They might not run into Brother Jack. They may not run into Brother Troy. They may not run into any, a, a minister, but they run into you. So your, your part of the vessel is just as important as the prophets. It's checking up time. Now I want to say something here. And I'm going to be bringing this to a close. One of the, the mistakes that I've seen, the Lord has been dealing with me on, We talk about, last week, a couple of weeks ago, rather, we was talking about the journey from law to grace. And we'll find that we'll get to a point and we feel like, well, 
I'm there. I got it. The word of God is an endless well. I can never have enough. He's an inexhaustible fountain. A lady told my wife, she was sharing with me on a job, because uh, she noticed the differences. She's a Christian lady. You know, and she, but they look different. And uh, she was sort of probing and when the devil tells you it don't take all that, you know it's the devil. Because God will never tell you to just get so much and stop. He'll never tell you, say, if, 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 if this is the line, he'll never just get you right to the other side of the line and say, that's enough, that's good enough. Come on. People are so deceived by the enemy in this hour. If this is the line, I want to be all the way over there. Not even close to that line. So when he says, well, it don't take all that. Well, maybe it don't take all this, but I'm going to do this anyway because I know it pleases him. Even if it don't take all of that, I know it, this gives him joy. So I'm going to do it even if I don't have to do it. See, that's the attitude. That's having respect for the message. So what I say is this. We see that a lot of times, and in, 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 in spiritually speaking, we get to a place. Oh, this is good enough. The, 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 the pull, the, the desire, the fervent desire to, to, to have more, just kind of, well, I, I get comfortable here, and I'll stay right here. No, you have to keep pressing forward. The problem is, the prophet said this here, the message convinced then concerned. He says, now, there's so many people say, if you quiver, hold your eyes shut, do all kinds of things and get sensations, you, you get spirits, friend. But if your life don't tally up to what you're professing, then there's something wrong with the spirit you got. See? And it's true. You must be sure. He preached a message called presuming. We don't want to presume in this hour. We want to constantly be checking up to make sure we have what we're professing. It is a constant checking up of ourselves by the word. We don't want to presume in this hour. He says you must be sure the Holy Spirit will bring forth a holy life. That's right. And if the desire is in your heart, if you have to, if you have to force yourself constantly to try to press and do what's right, and the world is still hungering in you, then there's something wrong. See, the Holy Spirit in you will not hunger for the world. It'll hunger for God. If it's hard for you to go to church and press yourself to come when the church is open, there's something wrong with the spirit. It's trying to keep you away from God. The spirit of God will run you right straight to the church every time the door is open for fellowship. Yes, sir. See? So you've got to be sure of this now. The time is at hand. It's checking up time. It is the hour where the wise virgin is trimming her lamps and making sure she has enough oil for the journey. 
So what am I trying to say? Let's not get complacent. Let's not get rest on our laws. We're, we're doing real well. When, 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 when I, I like to fish, and when I'm cleaning fish, every now and then, I'm using the knife and I'm cleaning the fish, and I, I may cut myself. Maybe some of you sisters know when you're cooking, you're in the kitchen, you're cooking, and you're using that knife. Sometimes you get a little cut on your hand. See, so when, the, when we're up here and, 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 we're, and we're wielding the sword, amen, sometimes we get cut too. Say, Lord, I'm checking up. I'm checking up. Make sure that I have what I'm professing because the time is at hand. Amen. Be honest with ourselves. My God. Press forward. Let's, let us not uh, get weary in well-doing. It's not time to uh, uh, relax. We're in a battle. The enemy comes, amen, to the ground that we've gained. I believe we've gained ground and we're constantly gaining ground. But if you don't stay on the offense, if you don't keep fighting, amen, you will lose ground. You will lose ground. In uh, Ezekiel, no, let me say this first. The prophet said in, uh, what? I don't have the message. He says, do you realize the responsibility of this city? He's talking about Tempe. I believe that's Tempe, Arizona. But I'm going to say the responsibility of this city here in West Palm Beach. He says, I believe it's resting upon your shoulders. I believe God has made you lighthouses, each one of you. Then have the responsibility of the sins of the city is resting upon you. Is resting upon ministers, upon the church people, the pilgrims as we journey through. Is resting upon you. Young people, I'm not in your school. That's your job. That's where God has placed you. I don't run in your circles. So you are responsible for the lighthouse of the word in the circles that you run in. God has placed that responsibility squarely in your lap. Squarely in your lap. It's your responsibility. Amen. Don't take it lightly. You are part of the vessel that the Holy Spirit is using. Amen. In Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, he says, I will sanctify my great name. The 23rd verse. I will sanctify my great name, which uh, was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know, shall known that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from your idols will I cleanse you. 26 verse says, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. Now, I want to stop right there. <clears throat> Some people make the mistake. He said, I will put a new spirit in you. 
And we think that's the Holy Spirit. Because you don't do the things you do anymore. He's, the, the prophet said that he had to give you a new spirit so that that old ugly spirit that you used to have can get along with the Holy Spirit. He had to change your nature so that the nature, amen, of that lamb, amen, the dove, the Holy Spirit, can come and fellowship. They have like natures. But he had to change your nature. Sometimes we get complacent with just a new spirit and never go on to the Holy Spirit. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put in you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause ye to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Let us not stop at just a new spirit. Let's make sure that we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, that vessel, will have us to do the same thing that the prophet was doing. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be speaking squirrels into assistance and all of these kind of things. Don't misunderstand me. But the manifestation of the love of God and if there's a need for you to speak a squirrel, I believe you have the faith within you to speak it. But let's just try to have the love of God, the concern of God. It should, it, and you know, when I am in a prayed up just right, and, 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 and it does, I walk out of the streets and it's just like, oh God. Look at all of these people. I, 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 on my job, I just, I said, how can I, how can I speak to them? How can I speak to them? How can I say something? Give me an opportunity. Because I really care. I don't want to see them go to hell. But people are so, and you try to talk to them. I don't, you could go to the rank of the center. All of a sudden, you go to try to talk to them about Jesus, and they become religious. Yeah, I know about God. See, you want, you know you don't know nothing about no God. But you want to compete with me now. Want to compete. I'm trying to point you to eternal life, man. I'm trying to give you something for your own good. You don't realize. You know you, know you don't have nothing. But now because you, want to, you don't want to seem like you don't want to respect the man that's standing before you. You don't want to give him that respect. I know just as much as you know. All right, bro. God bless you. I pray for you. It's checking up time, my brothers and sisters. Let us check. I can't say whether nobody in here got the Holy Ghost. All I can say from the pulpit to the back door is checking up time. Check yourself. Deeper depths and higher heights in him. Let us not stop. Let us not get weary and well doing, but let us go on to perfection. Let us be convinced and then concerned about the things of the Lord. Amen. Let us stand to our feet. Most gracious Father, we come this evening, O oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for God, just all that you're doing, oh, Father God. We thank you for every cut. Lord God, we thank you for every word. We thank you for every message, oh, Lord God. We thank you for all that you're doing, oh, Lord God. For, Lord God, we believe that it's checking up time. Make sure, Lord God, that that we are ready, O oh Father, that we're doing your will, O oh Lord God. 
that we're right in the place, oh, Father God, where you want us to be. Give us the wisdom and the boldness, oh, Father God, to speak your word, oh, Father God. Give us the unction, oh, Father God, of the spirit, oh, Lord God, when to speak, to say the right thing. Lord God, the burden on our heart to reach those that are lost, oh, Father God, in this sinful world, Lord God. Lead us and guide us, oh, Lord God. And Lord God, by your will, oh, Father God, to be in the right place at the right time, to have the right thing to say, Lord God, is not by might, not by power, but by thy spirit, saith the Lord. Lord God, may we just be so yielded, oh, Father God, such a yielded vessel, oh, Lord, in this hour, oh, Lord God. Lord God, that you can pour into us, oh, Father God, only that we can pour into somebody else. Oh, God, we just thank you, Father. Lord God, we surrender, Father God, to your will and to your way, Father God. Lord God, we yield it to you, Lord God. May these words not fall on deaf ears this evening, Father. We ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen.